Welcome to basic power system analysis using PSSE. In this lecture, we are going to discuss governor system dynamic modeling. So, a typical relationship between the speed governor, turbine and the gener generator can be shown with the help of this example. So, what do we have here is that we have this turbine which is actually providing the mechanical power to the generator so now how this is connected to this uh, this is uh, how this is uh, providing the feedback or how this is connected internally so this turbine is takes the feedback and is connected to the generator with the help of this shaft which has some inertia so and this has some speed which is this speed is provided to the speed governor system so the speed governor system then in turn is connected to the speed control mechanism and this speed control mechanism is in turn connected to the governor control valves or gate. So whenever there is a difference between P electrical and P mechanical. So this difference is it is sensed by the speed governor and the speed governor then increases or decreases based on this increase or decrease of speed gives uh, instruction to the speed control mechanism which in turn controls the governor valves and by the controlling of this valves we can change the mechanical power of the turbine now the impact of the speed governor modeling in the transient stability the first thing to note here is that this p mechanical or the turbine this is basically a slow operating uh, control as compared to the electrical control of the system as a result, slow response of the turbine control make their effect on the first ring st stability negligible. So if you are interested in solely interested in the angular stability or first ring stability, then even if you do not provide the governing model, it won't matter. So this is very important point that what kind of system stability study you are trying to perform. If you are interested in angular stability, no need to model the governor but if you are interested in frequency stability or long term stability then yes governor will play a very important role so you need to model it accordingly for the systems with inter area oscillation below 0.5 hertz the speed governor and the turbine action may influence the damping of these modes and depending on the governor control parameters the mechanical damping provided by the speed governor may either add to or subtract from the damping provided by the prime mover. The example of this is like this that you have seen that when one of the line was stripped the power on the other line was oscillating. Now this oscillation of power can, can be impacted by the governing control system because this change in power will be sensed by the governor and governor based on this change in power is going to respond in order to interact or counteract this uh, oscillation so if your governor is properly tuned then in this case the counteract will be to reduce this oscillation but if unfortunately your governor is not properly tuned then it may result in adding to the already existing oscillation and it can cause the oscillations to grow The satisfactory operation of the power system requires maintaining a constant frequency. The frequency in a power system depends on the balance of the generator mechanical input and electrical load power demand. As we said that P electrical should be equal to P mechanical. And in other words, if you leave this on a system level, your electrical demand should be equal to the power generated. As long as your demand is equal to the generated power, your system frequency is going to remain at its nominal value. For instance, for a 60 Hz system, the nominal frequency will be 60 Hz. For a 50 Hz system, the nominal frequency will be 50 Hz. When generation is equal to demand, 50 Hz frequency will be at 50 Hz. But if there is a uh, increase in generation or generation becomes more than demand, then frequency is going to increase. Or in other case when demand becomes greater than the generation that system frequency is going to decrease a change in active power demand at any point in the system is reflected in the change in frequency in the rest of the system the good th thing about frequency is that it is a global parameter 
सो द चेंज इन फ्रीक्वेंसी इज सीन एज सेम इन थ्रू आउट द एंटायर सिस्टम सो नाउ वेन एवर इज देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द लोड एंड द जनरेशन so there is going to be change in the frequency and this change in frequency is going to be sensed by each and every generator in the system so the speed governor on each generator provides the primary speed frequency control function the control of the generation and frequency is usually called load frequency control so how the, does a governor responds to the frequency change here is a simple example here omega not is the nominal speed nominal speed omega is given by 2 pi f so in this 2 pi f f is the nominal frequency now this is the rotor frequency now whenever there is a change in the frequency let's suppose some load is added into the system now when the load will be added into the system the load demand will become greater than generation this is going to cause reduction in frequency so now this redu reduction in frequency is going to be sensed by the governor and governor will try to increase this rotor speed and try to bring it back to its nominal value so how it can bring it to the nominal value it is going to increase or uh, increase the gate value or it is going to open its gate more or it is going to uh, increase its wall value so that it can provide a more input energy into the turbine so more fuel or more input into energy into the turbine means that more mechanical power generated and this more mechanical power generated will try to improve this frequency back to its nominal position now the governor dynamic model in pssc there are several uh, available models so if we consider uh, governor model as a black box then the input is basically the speed the governor speed or the speed from the system so this is the input and the output is the p mechanical or the mechanical power and then we have to provide different kind of uh, uh, attributes to it or different kind of parameter parameters to this and one of the important parameter is this droop value because what we do in system is that we do not want each generator to respond to the frequency individually so we have this droop characteristic in in, in this droop characteristic each generator depending upon its mva value will contribute to a certain level to this uh, change in frequency so and these different parameters define how much gate is going to open and when the gate is going to open so these values are typically provided by the manufacturer itself so manufacturer is going to provide these values and if you do not have the values what you can do is you can use that typical values available or based on the ieee standards and these are the different kind of uh, state variables which are available and there are some variables uh, which can be provided and this is the syntax of the file so if you want to model your generator with a gas turbine or as a gas turbine model for the governor then you need to use this syntax for the diary file